Alright, so we're still naked, but we'll worry about putting clothes on later. Kreia, what up? You have befriended the seer. Uh... The Miraluka? Why do you call her a seer? Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. Despite your urges, it would be better what? to deal with her. My now. urges? Whether you intend salvation or slavery, she is a threat to us. She serves one of the greatest of the Sith. She is the most trusted and only apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? Because there is nothing to be gained by murdering her. Yet. We shall see. There may be value in such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained. Whether mercy or lust, we have time for neither. Speak for yourself. I got plenty of time. My intentions for her are none of your concern. Nope. It is a Jedi way to save another. Nope. I don't need a lecture from you. If she threatens us again, I will deal with her. I promise you. Is that so? Well, perhaps there will be a second chance for her to inflict harm, so you may test such a statement. It is good that you have never wondered what lay beneath her robes, if her alabaster skin was as white and unblemished as her face, or if perhaps she bore the scars of slavery, and if that would stir you more. If perhaps her deferent tone would change once you held her by the throat and showed her how far a Jedi can fall. Few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind, Exile. And such passions are not strength, but erosion. Stop reading my mind, damn it! Maybe you should keep your thoughts to yourself. My feelings for her are nothing like that, and you know it. If you think you know me, you are wrong. Perhaps, and perhaps not. We shall see! I cannot help but hear you at times, and such curious thoughts they are. Not at all like a Jedi. See to it that you do not ever act upon your impulses. Mating with her will bring more harm than you know. Like the servant of Atris, this one has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Trust me, all I wanted was her lightsaber. Actually, if there's anyone I don't trust, it's you! Which is kinda true, but, eh. Ties to her master, perhaps, and I intend to follow that bond to its source when the opportunity presents itself. Then you are learning. And said her planet was wiped out, and it was the only colony of her people in this sector of the galaxy. Did he? And what do you make of that? This seems strange, a Force-sensitive world was obliterated. Excuse me, obliterated. You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Perhaps, but I have other questions. Ask, and I will answer. Ooh, can you tell me about the Swarlos Crystal? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Yeah. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There. Now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished? Wait. What? How did it lose tune with me and now it's back in tune with me? What did that even do? I'm gonna have to go look at the crystal. What do you know of Visa's master? He, if he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. He's no longer a man? One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do. 
as most of us do. I had hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the Blinded One. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Hmm. Uh, avoid that question. How did he destroy her homeworld? It is a technique that is almost as old as the Sith themselves. It is a means of severing connections between life, the Force, and feeding upon the death it causes. It cannot be taught. It can only be gained through instinct, through experiencing its effects firsthand. And he used it to kill an entire planet. Yes, and he fed upon its destruction. It will sustain him for a time. I don't understand why he has how how he hasn't conquered the galaxy with that kind of power. Because it is not something that can ever truly be controlled, and it leaves nothing to conquer in its wake. And it rules him, not the other way around. It has its own will, its own instincts. Uh, can anyone have that kind of power? Power? Do you think so? You would be wrong. There is no strength in the hunger he possesses, and the will behind his power is a primal thing. And it devours him as he devours others. His mere presence kills all around him, slowly feeding him. He is already dead. It is simply a question of how many he kills before he falls. Okay. How is he able to perform such slaughter? I feel like I already asked you this. Nothing is impossible with the Force. It is an energy that flows through all living things. And like energy, it may be harnessed, channeled, and consumed at times. It may even be a substance that can burn and ignite. Do not think of his power as one would a weapon, or one of your warships of the Republic. It is terrible, but it is still a subtle thing. The sect of assassins that chase you feed on the Force. What he does is simply the pinnacle of what they could achieve in time. And that is why they and their techniques must be wiped out. No one again must experience and learn what her master did. How are they able to drain the Force? As much as one may use the Force to bolster the wills and strengths of others, the reverse is possible, though not often used. Instead of sending one's will through connections in the Force, instead such connections are drawn upon, fed upon, and drained completely. But all life is touched by the Force. Then you understand how terrible such a power is, and why it must be ended. It is an empty road to the dark side, and by traveling it, the price is death before one's time. He is a breach in the Force, capable of consuming the lives of those around him. Sometimes the touch is slow, as it is with his crew. How does he use his power? Wait, so he feeds on Force Sensitives? That's a better question. It is not something he can direct or focus, much like hunger itself. He is more of a hole in the Force than a living thing. Force Sensitives and worlds rich in the Force draw him. The Miraluka world was one such place. That is why where the Jedi gather, Jedi will die. He will feel it unless they mask their presence. But Qatar called out as a beacon to him and he could not resist it. And he cares nothing for the Sith, or its teachings, or the Jedi. And when the Jedi are dead, he will feed on the galaxy, the Republic, and eventually consume the Sith as well. There is no future in the empty galaxy he sees, and that is why he must be stopped. The breach must be sealed before his power grows beyond what even we can hope to stop. Do you have any idea why he spared her, though? Perhaps he is bound to her, as I am bound to you. If so, there may be a death served by hers. You must be prepared to sacrifice the Blinded One. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Uh, you asked me that already. Other questions? Ask, and I will answer. When Visas attacked, she did something to my eyesight. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. 
Uh, what? Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Feel this ship around you. Listen to my words. Hear the sound of the handmaidens training in the cargo <laughs> She's still Her naked. Cutting the air. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Peter, hey, T3 has a stuck motivator. Now, stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Hey, I can hear a catch in it. It's not fully fixed. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death, and... I heard her speaking. You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. Can I do that whenever I want? That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. You have gained plus one awareness and recovered some of your connection to the Force. Yes! All right, maximum force points increased. All right, Cray, I know you said to leave you alone. You have grown strong in the force. I have. Feel its mark upon mm -hmm. you. You're Behold, right. The highest of mysteries cannot be found by falling to the dark side. It is a quick path and often a short one. But I sense a disquiet in you, an unrest. Such things will erode your strength. Why do people in our journey trouble me with these indignities, these fetching missions, this servant work? They sense the trappings of power and decision upon you. Their lives are static, trapped, and they see one who carries no such chains. This fetch and carry, this servant work is beneath me. La -da -da. In begging for aid, they show their weakness and deserve death. No, not that one. Uh, we have more important things to do. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. Shit! From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do, and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Uh, then I shall view you as disposable then. Ah, now you are learning. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static untested. It is only through interaction, through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Well, I had other questions. Ask, and I will answer. Da, 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 da. Kriya, what are you? Are you Jedi? A Sith? Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark. Categorize it. Perhaps I am neither. And I hold both as what they are. She's a great Jedi. Control. Know that I am your teacher and that is enough. Fine. 
ask. Not that, not that. If the council cast you out, how come Atrus and none of the Jedi Masters mentioned you? Oh. Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. You sure? Do not let them discover what makes you what you are before you do, or the consequences for the galaxy will be terrible. Why? Because you learned to live without the Force, and that is something that the galaxy is not ready to accept. Alright. And I will. More questions. I've had. I have thought more about the destruction of Visa's homeworld. And. Atten said her planet was wiped out, and that it was the only colony of her people in this sector of the galaxy. No. No. Alright. More dark side points. My favorite. Um, who do we have left? Atten? Atten's the only one I haven't talked to, I think. Atten, what up? Look, I know we've been through some rough times so far, but you need to stop letting it get to you. Do my features trouble you? Well, the signs are starting to show. You don't look like you've slept in weeks, or a year. You too, homie. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. What did you want to know? Um, nothing personal, I guess, because it's not even giving me the option. Are we still in the? Okay, we're still in the dock. Can we tell T3 about the fact that we found those things on the ship? Wait, no, T3, come back. I. Oh. How's the Ebon Hawk? Uh, good job. Glad to hear it. Right? Yeah? Okay, yeah. That's the best option. What about the astrogation system? You locked it? Why did you do that? Protect who? Under whose orders? Why didn't they want anyone to know where the ship had been? Why was Oh, sorry, that quite that sentence confused me for a second. Um, why was where this friend had gone so dangerous? But how did the Ebon Hawk come back if that place was so dangerous? T3, there's not much time. I've seen that expression on her face before. Now, I don't know where she's planning on going, but it's dangerous. She's going to leave without telling me. I don't know why, but there's a chance that she'll take you. If she does, I need you to watch out for her. She's strong, but she can't face everything alone. Do what you can, T3. If she doesn't make it back, then I need you to come back, find help. If not me, then other Jedi, the Republic. I can't lose her, even if she wants to be lost. Oh, that guy. Is that message we were trying to hide? This person in the hologram, a friend of yours? Uh, 
I don't understand why you're sealing that from me. I understand, after a conversation that I don't even understand. I didn't think you kept messages like that. Who was the person in the hologram talking about? Revan, I would imagine. If you guys have played the first KOTOR. Another missing friend? Why are all your friends missing? Huh? That's the real question. And she left you. Hmm. Because she could not take anyone with her, even the man in the hologram. But you decided to go for help anyway. to gather us, and together we can crush the Sith and anyone else in our way. Alright, but that doesn't tell me where the Ebon Hawk came from. Very true. But why don't you have that information? You were there, no? Deleted by who? You deleted it, why? Uh, this is impossible. You deleted it, you don't know why, and all you can show me is this old hologram as an explanation? Don't be sorry. I'm sure you had a reason, I guess. Alright, let's go. No! Light side shift! Shit! Damn it. Try to beat dark side Jedi. Hit up with light side points. One last thing to do before I forget. Oh, do I not even have my lightsaber equipped? Let me do that before we do anything else. Boom, lightsaber. And we can pop on some clothes. Clothes might be good, I think. There we go. I wasn't. Oh, this must. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, what? My crystal's neutral. Attack 1, Charisma 2, Dexterity 2, Strength 3. Awesome. That's cool. Still only got that shitty emitter. Damn it, I didn't press assemble. Alright, perfect. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Now we have to go to another planet. Which planet is it gonna be? We'll see which one's next on the, uh... Well, it's not a list, of, so to speak. It's more of like in a jumbling of planets. <laughs> 